your constituencies have proved to you that I'm not any different from you. You can do what I'm doing and even more. And the people have tasked you to that. This is no time for us to put on smart uh, straight jackets and go to parliament and enjoy. It is a time to sacrifice. It's a time to put away our comfort. This is a liberation struggle that we must start. As a matter of fact, while the struggle has been more painful then, it is even more painful now. But I can guarantee you that we can see freedom inside. <laughs> while your constituencies have elevated you and made you stand out, I want you to remember that 100% of our campaign team are in prison. I want you to remember that we stand here on the blood of very many comrades that have been murdered innocently. Which blood we must make good of. They are looking at us. The people of Uganda are relying on us. But they are very proud that they chose us. That their voices, at least in some areas, were elevated. And I want you to know that General Museveni wants so desperately to put an end to this and pretend that we are moving on. We are not moving on to anywhere. We want him. He is not the legally elected president. He is an imposter. Yes, he is. So while you take on these offices, I want you to remember that this is going to be a two-pronged approach. We have the political approach, but this bigger battle is for the people of Uganda. So you are expected to lead your people. At least through these three years, you have seen that indeed the people power is stronger than people in power. I want you to know that you are servants. You people, you are servants. You were appointed by people to serve them, to serve as anchors of a struggle for freedom and life. 